Shadow uh, of uh, the uh, Colossus. Uh, Don't go to the damn dentist if you ain't flousing. Shadow of the Colossus is, uh... Well, it's a video game, I think. You play as dude, your girl dies, you take her to this ancient land on your horse, Argo. Argo! You get to this temple and the spirits are like, Look, you little hot boy, you wanna bring your slam piece back to life, you gotta go murder all these giant-ass animals that have literally done nothing to you. Yeah, alright. So your journey begins. 16 Colossi. Gotta kill them all. Murder, man. Each of these fights is like a dang puzzle, where the struggle isn't so much killing the beast, but finding out how to kill Charmander. Whether that means using the environment, tricking the creatures into doing something they probably don't want to do, or just straight up climbing up the dang thing to brutally end its precious life. In between all these fights is nothing. But it's a good nothing. The atmosphere of this game is heavy, baby. And the quiet moments in between these CS Source death matches give you a chance to reflect on everything you've done. The environments are super pretty and varied, and at times the game just feels like a hiking simulator. How nice. Now this is a special ass game, there's really nothing else like it. I actually got this game in like 6th grade and I didn't even have a PS2. Me and my buddy Austin saw it in a pawn shop in South Dakota and I was like, I want that. So we took it to Austin's house and played it and now it's one of my favorite games. Shoutouts to Austin, he's, he's definitely one of those hot boys. But you know what game all hot boys should have in their library? Pokemon Snap, stupid. Pokemon Snap is a game about taking pictures. While it may not have been the Pokemon adventure people wanted back in 99 when it came out, it's still a neat little game. If you somehow pass by this game and don't know shit about it, it's like an on-rails arcade shooter, but instead of killing bad dudes in Time Crisis 69, you're taking pictures of Pikachu. The goal is to get pictures of every Pokemon, and Dr. Mario grades all the pictures you take. The grading system mainly focuses on how centered and zoomed in the pictures are, and you get a score depending on how much he likes your Instagram feed. It's fun going back through levels to get better pictures of the Digimon and my sister Marianne fucking shredded this game. Sometimes to get some of the chickens to hatch or evolve you gotta do different shit to them. Throw apples, bombs, you know, any sort of animal abuse cause well, you gotta get those picks somehow, right? Getting higher scores makes replaying levels pretty fun and figuring out how to catch a glimpse at all these hungry boxes can be a fun puzzle on its own. Pokemon Snap. The best game you didn't know you wanted. Dog bless. So now say Shadow Man is standing alone at a bar and Pokemon Snap drunkenly stumbles over and screams, Hey! Let's fuck! Shadow of the Pokemon, picture snapping hot boys. So you got Shadow's world, the vast landscapes, caves, rocky cliffs, deserts, canyons, and old decrepit castles and shit. You know, all stuff that would make a National Geographic photo boy jizz his little jeans. You got your horse Ben Affleck and your camera and you just start exploring. But also say that all 16 colossi from Shadow are always roaming around this map. Instead of always just, you know, individually encountering these majestic things one at a time, now you can explore the map and potentially encounter any of them, maybe even two at the same damn time, maybe catch them fighting or sexing each other. And maybe there's more than just the 16, you know? Maybe there's like 30 of all shapes and sizes, and guess what you're trying to do? You gotta capture photos of all these fucking giants, potentially risking your life in the process. The photo grading system is here too, and with a more in-depth judgment system, it would be really fun trying to capture some gorgeous ass shots of these creatures. Also, you know how in Pokesnap sometimes you gotta throw shit at Pokemon to get them to do stuff? This game could take that to a whole nother level, baby. Basically, just take the puzzle aspect of Shadow Man when you're trying to find out how to kill the thing, but instead you're trying to get the giant into a situation that makes for a bomb-ass photo. Maybe you purposely stand in front of one to get it to wind up to hit you just to snap a quick little dick pic and then scramble away pissing your pants. Or maybe you get one to follow you, running for your dang life while trying to lead the beast into another one, only to get a sweet picture of them fighting or making out. And along with getting pictures of Colossi, just taking well-composed pictures of the beautiful landscape would be rad. And what if there were like online leaderboards where people could compete for the best photos and you could vote for the ones you liked? And what would make this game especially cool are the flying colossi in Shadow. Then maybe you could somehow get on one and steer it just to get some sweet, sweet aerial shots of some epic shit. I'm not sure what kind of story this game would have, but just taking a virtual field trip into this amazing world would be motivation enough for me. Having some intimate moments hiking around, you know, capture some memories of some amazing Jurassic Park type shit, and probably hone the shit out of your picture taking skills, you know, whether you're in the game or while walking down the street, taking pictures of 
uh, cute girls and stuff. Both of these video games are unique as hell in the sense that there's not a whole lot of other games like them. Pokemon Snap proved that a game just about taking pictures can be pretty enjoyable, and Shadow of the Colossus proved that quiet moments of exploration coupled with epic encounters with giants is an experience that is unparalleled. But mainly, I mean, I just want to be able to take sweet pictures to use as desktop wallpapers, you know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Do you hate this idea? Do you hate me? Does Pikachu make you nervous? Let me know in the comments and leave a like if you'd be so kind. And as usual, I'll take pictures of you hot boys next week. Shadow uh, of uh, the uh, Colossus. Uh, Don't go to the damn dentist if you ain't flousing. God bless. God damn. I'm a hot boy and a hot man. I'm a hot boy in a spray can. Spray me on the wall if you can. Do you like my shit? Do you like my video? Subscribe if you do. Tell me in the comments if you like pee or poo. One or two, poop or pee. Do you wanna be a hot boy like me? I'm not very hot, but that's what I say. I'm not a hot boy and I ain't gay, but gays are cool, gays are fun. Gay boys are probably number one. And all the sports they play, tennis, lacrosse, football, every day. I don't know what I'm saying. Like my video if I'm a saying. Super Saiyan, subscribe, be a hot boy, live life, <laughs> Do, ride or die. Fast and the Fury is 7 is a great film, go watch it, Evan.